Bing bong. Two simple words or sound effects or whatever that have come to mean so much more to Knicks fans. But why? What does Bing Bong mean? What are the origins of it? And why has it become a rallying cry for New York's rabid ball fans? We're gonna try to answer all those questions for you. So sit back, relax, and take this in. Before we get back to today's episode, I wanna remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Help us creep closer to that 80,000 mark. All right, back to Bing Bong and the Knicks. The phrase caught on thanks to a recent episode of Side Talk, a social media street show featuring interviews with New York City residents. Knicks-related episodes are especially popular. You might remember these anti trey Young moments from the playoffs. Trey Young! Yo, Trey Young looks like my dad's I didn't, I never saw my dad. He still looks like shit! That was side talk. Well, on an equally viral episode following this year's season opening overtime win over the Celtics, and, um, excited fan did this. <laughs> no, wait, that's not it. Bing bong! That was it. That one second clip, that same sound effect you hear at the beginning of side talk episodes, changed an entire fan base. That Knicks fan's name is Jordy Bloom, and he told ESPN that the meaning behind Bing Bong is simply an ode to the sound effect that emanates out of New York City subway PA systems when a train's doors are closing. <laughs> Never mind that virtually every subway system in every major city on the planet has some variation of the same door closing chime. This is New York, New York. The city's so nice they named it twice. Of course New Yorkers took a simple, universal chime and made it their thing. For most of the 21st century, we could at least clown New Yorkers if they tried to equate that same sense of superiority to their godforsaken basketball team. But the Knicks have actually given fans real reasons to celebrate again. The team's off to its best start in nine years and is coming off a surprising 2021 playoff appearance and top four seed. With a solid blend of veteran stars and budding young ones, it really does seem like something's brewing at the garden for the first time in a long time. Between that reason for optimism, the popularity of side talk, and New York civic pride, Bing Bong has quickly become a hilarious staple inside the arena, outside the arena, and all over social media. And with all that excitement around MSG, the team itself, and even legendary broadcaster Mike Green, Mr. Bang himself, have gotten in on the fun. <laughs> So of course, it was only a matter of time before opponents caught on and turned the tables. The Magic and Raptors have already trolled the Knicks with bing bong tweets after beating New York, and plenty more are sure to follow suit as the season rolls on. Though if the MSG faithful have their way, there won't be many games against the Knicks this season where opponents will be able to celebrate. So what do you think? Is bing bong a viral delight or just an overhyped example of New York exceptionalism? Will the Knicks come crashing back down to earth or will they be bing bonging their way to a deep playoff run this year? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.